Hey there, Gabriel Barofato here from GB Voice Academy, your voice coach to helping you master the American accent. Now, you're in for a treat. On this video, I'm gonna share with you an actual one-on-one -on -one session I have with one of my students who I'm very proud of and who has made some great progress. Now, there are a lot of you out there who maybe are not in a financial situation to be able to afford a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So that's why I wanted to share this video with you. And you're gonna find that there are a lot of issues that this gentleman is facing that you probably face on a daily basis as well. So make sure you see the entire video because within our session we make some pretty remarkable discoveries and entangle a lot of the issues that you probably face on a daily basis when trying to speak with an American accent. And then just a little heads up, you're going to hear a lot of me referring to number targets like a 1 or a 12 or this and that. If you're wondering what that is, that's my target map system that I've created. It's revolutionary and it's helped millions of people all over the world master the American accent. And if you want to learn more, make sure you check out my online course. I left the link below so you can get a clear idea of my system and how it's changing people's lives. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel so then you can have access to all of these videos I'm creating for you to help you get that much closer to mastering the American accent. And stick around to the end of the session because I share with them some practical exercises and advice that I want all of you to follow on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's check it out. There's a famous Russian saying, repetition is the mother of all learning. Yes, sir. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Freshly fried, fresh flesh. Gotcha. Sally is a sheet slitter. She slits sheets. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Sure. So let's really kill that you on, I'm sure. Sure. What noise annoys an oyster most? Now I heard oyster. Oyster. What target is that? Oyster. Oh. 11, right? 11. Oyster. Oyster most. A noisy noise annoys an oyster most. Ripe white wheat. Reapers reap. Ripe white wheat ripe. Blake black bike. Back break bracken. Block broke. Good. Each Easter Eddie eats 80 Easter eggs. Beautiful, man. Very good. Come a long way. How's it feel? It feels amazing. I was listening to the news yesterday. And the so new speaker yesterday. yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. So now there's a five in the yesterday, yesterday, okay. yesterday. So now let me hear yester, yester. Let me hear that six though. Yester, yester, yesterday, yesterday. Good. Now yesterday, yesterday. Perfect. Music to my ears. All right. So let's look at this link I sent you. They were very large slippers. Now, I didn't hear the V on the very. very. They were very large slippers, which her mother had hit her toe. Hit her toe. Hit her toe. Worn. Worn. So large were they, and the poor girl, little thing lost them as she scuffled away across the street. Now, don't lose that three on away versus way, away. Away across the street. At the 12, because, away across the street. Away across the street. Because of the two carriages that rolled by dreadfully fast. The flakes of snow covered her long, fair hair. Yeah, so now let's hear that 8-5, covered. Covered. And really, see, that right? V coming into that 5, covered. Covered. Yeah. Now I'm hearing covered. Really hit that V, covered. Covered. Yeah, covered. Covered. Uh, covered. That's better. Her long, fair hair. That's what her long, in, fair long, hair. fair hair, which fell in beautiful curls around her neck. There's a one nine around her neck. Around her neck. Oh, yeah, this word too. Around her neck. From her father, she would certainly. Now, those that from her, her. her from her father, she would certainly get blows. And at home, it was cold, too. For above her, she had only the roof, through which the wind whistled even. So now, let me really hear those Ws. Over-enunciate these Ws. Through which the wind whistled. Through which the wind whistled. 
Yeah, you hear that? Oh, oh. And your particular accent, we want to really emphasize the V's and the W's. What? Gotcha. Even though the largest cracks were stopped up with straw and rags. Let's see that there. That was great. Okay, let's work on your elevator pitch. This is basically a quick overview of you and what you've done and your experience. Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I really appreciate that. My name is Ed. I'm a student at Blue College studying financial mathematics. I also work part-time as an intern at Games. And now, I want you to take a listen to this. I want you to count how many times you hear da 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 dee da 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 dee Ready? I'll count with you. Ready? Here we go. Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I really appreciate that. My name is Ed. I'm a student at Blue College studying financial mathematics. Yeah. Work part time as an intern. Eight times you went da 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 Hear that? Yeah. It's it's fine. Yeah, I'm not it. saying it's oh devastating. It's fine. Yeah, 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 no, but you're right. But here's the thing: when people with who's American, whatever, say it's not their first accent, or just people in general, when they lock into a rhythm, it comes across as you're nervous. Yeah. And you're you're you, you'd rather be safe versus take risks. Yep. Subliminally, it comes across as you're not a risk taker. Let's play with rhythms. Say the first sentence, and we're going to play with rhythms. Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Good. Right there, you got two of those. Let's break it down. Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Again, it's that da da da. It's still going there, huh? Yeah. Say thank you. Thank you. And every time you say a word, go down a step. Thank you for thank you for taking, taking the, time. the time to talk to me. There. Gotcha. Try one more time and go down those steps. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. That gotcha. that sounds more commanding. Now, is what I'm saying what you have to do? No, not at all. But I want you to get used to and play with other options. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do not think that what you're doing is wrong. Oh shit, I went up, I stopped. No. We're exercising, right? You got to understand this. Mr. Smith is going to talk to a dozen guys like you. Yeah. A lot of them have your qualifications. A lot of them are tech heavy people, right? And a lot of them probably speak like that. Yeah. If not that pattern, they probably have other patterns because they're tech people. You know what I mean? They're yeah. probably like, hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for taking the time. Da, da, da. Well, so he's probably sick and tired of heating, hearing these over-rehearsed, analytically anal ways of delivering speech. But if you go in there with charm and da, and your targets are fucking solid, he can't help but hire you. One more time. Hi, Mr. Smith. Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Yeah. You feel that? Wow, it's tough, hey. but it's, it's really good. Why don't we take it from the top to there? Hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. You know, I like that you went to me at the end. That's I like that. And the fact that you broke it up and you didn't say, hi, Mr. Smith, my name is da-da-da-da-dee. It's okay. You could go diddy as long as you're not doing another diddy before or after. Hi, Mr. Smith. Now, try different variations of that. Hi, Mr. Smith. 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 So when you go down, ba be ba ba think of it like, like, like you're bolding something. It's like, da 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 da, ba 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 ba. It's mm -hmm. musical. Yeah, it is. So, work on the exercises, but work on your elevator pitch and record yourself, and try to see how many times you can hear it. Dee -dee 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 -dee, and then just try to break those up. It doesn't have to be exactly what I did, but do it dee and then it go da da dee da 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 dee da da, and then try to hear that pattern, right? And we'll work on the next time. Sound good? Sounds good. Mm -hmm.